Lesson 4.7, we're going to be converting between systems. The objective is to convert units of measure between the customary and metric systems. Um, below you see a chart, and I included this in your notes so that you have that chart to reference as you work through these problems. I don't expect you to have these memorized because I don't. Um, I know most of you do have quite a few of them memorized, which is awesome, and it will make it easier. But if you don't have them memorized, no need to worry because... I don't, so I don't expect you to. Number one says convert 17 and 22 hundredth inches to centimeters. Round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So the first thing we're going to do is set this up as 17 and 22 hundredth inches. We're going to just put it over one so that it's a fraction times, there are two and 54 hundredth centimeters in every one inch. And we want it set up this way so that the inches are diagonal of each other or whatever we're trying to cancel out. So that the labels just cancel each other out. Those inches just cancel each other out. And then we're just left with multiplying straight across. So 17 and 22 hundredths times 2 and 54 hundredths is going to give us about, it's going to go on for quite a while. And at this point, everybody, great. I don't care if you use a calculator. You would get 43.73. And then I would just round that to the hundredth place because that's where I like you to always round. It's 43 and 74 hundredths. And the only label that's left is centimeters. So we have just converted this to centimeters. We circle it and we are finished. Number two, convert five kilometers to miles. Round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So again, we write five kilometers. And if it helps you to write it over one so that you can see this is multiplying fractions, go for it. And um, for every one mile, see how we always put what we're wanting to convert it to on top, and then what it already is on bottom is one and 61 hundredths kilometers. And then our kilometers cancel out. So we multiply it across and we get Five times one is five miles over one times one and sixty one hundredths is one and sixty one hundredths. And then you do this division, five divided by one and sixty one hundredths, and you will get three, and this is miles, I forgot my eye. That looks like meters. And this is three and eleven hundredths miles. Again, you could use a calculator to do that, or you could do it old school and do the division by hand. Number three, we are converting 828 and a half milliliters to cups, and then we are going to round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So we set it up. We have eight and twenty-eight hundred, or eight and twenty-eight, eight hundred and twenty-eight and a half uh, milliliters over one times, we're trying to convert to cups, so we want for every one cup, there are 236 and 5,900 milliliters. We can cancel out our milliliters, and then we just multiply straight across, so we have 828 and a half cups over 236 and 59 hundredths. And then we go ahead and we do that division and we get about three and a half cups or exactly three and a half cups it looks like. Example four says to convert three and four tenths quarts to milliliters. Round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So we have three and four tenths quarts
times, and we're going to put for every one quart, there are 946 and 35 hundredth milliliters. Then we go through and we cancel out our labels. So then we just do this multiplication problem of 3 and 4 tenths times 946 and 35 hundredths, and that gets us 3,217 and 59 hundredths milliliters. We'll circle it, and that is our answer. Number five, convert four and 25 hundredths kilograms to pounds, round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So we have four and 25 hundredths kilograms. I'm gonna make it over one, it's easier to do the multiplication. Times, for every one pound, there is 0 0.4536 kilograms. So we cancel out our kilograms, and we're left with four and twenty-five hundredths pounds over zero point four five three six. We go ahead and we do that division, and you get nine and thirty-seven hundred pounds. Circle it, and you're finished. Last problem, number six. An Olympic-sized swimming pool is 50 meters long. About how many feet long is the pool? So we set it up. We have 50 meters to make it a fraction, to make it easier to work with. We put one on bottom times for every one foot, we have three-tenths of a meter. So the meters cancel out. We multiply across, so we have 50 feet. Oh, divided by 3 tenths, and 50 divided by 3 tenths is going to get us 166 and 67 hundredths feet. Circle it, and you're finished.